guys, I'm so glad that you're here. As you have heard and seen on my YouTube and social media, I've been training for the Nike LA 13.1 half marathon in April. It has been canceled due to the coronavirus. I still wanted to upload this video of my training over the last couple of months. More than anything, I just hope that you enjoy this video and that you find it helpful and just maybe like a little pocket of sunshine in your day right now. I hope you enjoy. I love you so much and let's get into the video and once again thank you so much to Nike for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to my channel. Today you are coming on all of my runs with me throughout the week. So we're going to be training together. You're going to be with me every step of the way. So let's jump right into it. Are you flying? <laughs> okay. Tonight's run had a lot of high intensity intervals because we ended up losing my phone in the sand, or should I say Bo lost it, but it made it super fun and we got it done nevertheless and we found my phone. <laughs> This run I ran for close to an hour and a half but when I had so much fun on this run we did a trail and so we ran sprints up the hills or sometimes we just walked up the hill then we did a little bit of distance at the end it was kind of all over the place and super fun which just kept it very interesting and it was just an awesome awesome workout not only had a lot of steps in it but a lot of stair steps in it we did me and my sister about five miles together and it was a beautiful day and it was just a really challenging but very fun run So before every workout that I do, I always start out with a warm up. So that usually begins with a little bit of walking to get my blood flowing and then I go into two minutes of pretend jump rope because I'm too lazy to bring an actual jump rope with me so I just pretend like it's there. But jumping is really great for specifically warming up for a run because it helps to strengthen your feet and it also helps to heat up that soft tissue within your feet and just around your ankles. We really want to warm up the calves and just get that lower part of your body specifically warmed up and then I'll start going into my light jog and then eventually into the pace that I'm going to be running at and I also always do a proper cool down that is really important because it helps your lymphatic system you don't want to ever just stop working out I always tend to do about a half mile of a walk at the end and then always foam roll and stretch <laughs> recorded this whole entire video and then I imported the footage and it was all blurry. I really wanted to help you in this video if you feel like it's 2020, it's already March, I don't even know how that happened. I feel like March is like Wednesday, you know, like you have Monday and everyone's excited, which is like January and you're like super pumped to go to the gym and you have your new membership and your new shoes and your new workout plan 
and your new life ahead of you and then you go for a week and you go for two weeks and maybe even you get to three weeks and then you get to the end of the month and you're just kind of like I missed today or you're kind of over it and you just feel like oh I messed up and then you get frustrated with yourself and then you're just like oh and then you're like what's the point I just ruined all my progress and now it's February and who wants to work out anyway January's over and I might as well just start next year or I might as well just start on Monday well We've all been there, I've been there. Recently, this year, 2020, I have been loving my training and I wanna say two things. One of the reasons is because I've failed and messed up a lot in the past, okay? I used to be that person that went to the gym, I hated my body and I wanted to change my body and that's why I worked out so that I could change the way that I looked and I just, I didn't have a healthy relationship with my body, with food, with the gym. The second thing is, is that I haven't consistently worked out this year at all. In fact, I did an out of state move. I moved from Oregon to California. I was not running like I had anticipated to, like I wanted to stick to my plan. Now I could either get down upon myself or I could say that I've been enjoying training more than ever before. It has been so much fun for me and I'll tell you why that is and that's because I don't allow unrealistic expectations to cripple me like I always say this but it's so true a doctor doesn't go to medical school for one day or even a week and then become a doctor it's day in and day out what it is is it's baby steps and those baby steps are in what we call today instead of measuring your progress based on where you want to be your end goal Measure your progress on what was my baby step that I did today to get to the end goal. With any and every goal that you will ever set out to cross the finish line on, you're gonna have hurdles and you're gonna have issues. And that's not the problem. The problem isn't the problem. The problem is how you respond to the problem. So the problem isn't that there's pebbles along your pathway. It's how you get up from your trips. Does that make sense? Like you're going to trip. And as far as practical, uh, wherever you're at right now, I've been going, okay, literally I went to bed at 8.50 the other night. So if you're stagnant right now, maybe you've hit a plateau, don't forget to look at those little things. Am I sleeping enough? Am I drinking enough water? Am I really properly hydrated? And making sure that like for me, I am drinking electrolytes before every single run now and before every single time that I work out. That's another thing. I've been doing a lot of variable training. So if I go for like a distance run one day without my headphones, I'm just chill, very peaceful, whatever. Then there'll be other days where like I'll use the Nike Run Club app and I will go through a guided run. I loved, oh my gosh, on the Nike Immersion Day we did, I did one of the runs on there called the first run it's called first run and oh my gosh i just loved it like coach bennett he's so awesome i loved meeting him and, and just listening to him but he literally guides you through a run so if you're just getting into running or you know you don't really know where to start doing the nike guided runs are so fun and they're so helpful and they really did it really did get me through the run and it was really cool to like experience that and just using it along the way through my training has been so much fun. It's been enjoyable. It's just made it like, yeah, it's just made it fun. Now, another little tip, this is what made me think of it when my sister and I were on a run the other day. She asked me a question about my short. I don't even want to feel like I'm wearing shorts. Like I want to be able to have full flexion and extension in my hips, my legs when I'm running, you know what I'm saying? Like. I just don't want to be restricted. I don't want to be uncomfortable. And so I just want to say, and I feel like I've never, I don't know if I've ever really said this in a video, but I just, it's really on my heart for some reason today for this video. Forget the size. Buy clothes, buy workout clothes that you're comfortable in. There were so many years where I wore too small of clothes. It would dig into my stomach, it would dig into my hips and my legs and it was just uncomfortable because I wanted to be in a certain size that's so silly to me buy who cares about sizes who cares about numbers buy what your beautiful body fits in and feels comfortable in wear it and go for a workout and be comfortable and <laughs> just be able to breathe properly okay um like tights that are so tight that make me feel like I can't even breathe I just can't I just can't do it just no not today never not tomorrow not no, just, just no, just the answer is no. And that kind of rolls into the next thing. The Nike React Infinity Runs are so comfortable. Oh my gosh. The best thing about them, I think, is that 
they're just like part of me in my run. They're just so comfortable that it's like, I almost forget that they're even there. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I want in a running shoe. I want them to be so comfortable that I'm just so focused and so into the run that I'm not feeling uncomfortable, that my feet aren't hurting, you know, that I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not thinking about anything. They're just supporting me and they're just literally getting me to where I want to be, which is the next step. You know what I'm saying? It's just been really fun to train in them and they've been awesome as far as like running. I've ran on all kinds of different environments. Again, I've done lots of hill runs where there's like loose gravel. I've done super, super, you know, soft sand where you're running and it's just a very proprioceptively <laughs> enriched environment. And then I'm on packed hard sand and I'm, you know, it's almost more like pavement and then pavement obviously and grass and you know, interval training of high intensity and slow pace, long endurance, and they've just literally carried me through every step of the way. And no, that was not intended. That was definitely a pun, and I am keeping that in there. <laughs> I don't have pain. I've been stretching. I've been foam rolling. I've been, I've just really been taking care of myself, and I've been doing lots of different styles of training, and I just feel really at peace, and I feel really happy, and have I done it perfectly? No, but that's the cool thing, is that it's perfect, because it's not perfect, and it just, I just keep going, and that's what's perfect about it, you know, is that you just don't give up. I'm just really stretching. I love, absolutely love training in the Nike React Infinity runs. I just hope that this year, no matter if it's March, no matter if it's Monday, no matter if it's Friday, no matter if you feel like you fell off the wagon or you feel like you messed up, but that you can just start today and you don't have to envision it being perfect. You can just envision it being real. In my perfectionistic brain, at least for me, like I used to be super, super strict with my eating and if I didn't eat perfectly that day and I had dessert or I ate a little bit of too much of this or ate this certain food that I shouldn't have eaten, then it just derailed me and I just gave up and then I ate whatever I wanted and then I was messed up for the whole week and then I'd start on Monday. And then it's like, why did I just fall into this failure hole when all I did was just be a normal human? <laughs> you know, like we're just humans. Like, I don't know why we expect ourselves to be these perfect robots, but we do. There are gonna be days where you eat too much. There are gonna be days where you don't get enough sleep. There are gonna be days when you don't work out. There might be weeks where you don't work out. There might be months that you don't work out, but you can start today. You can take your baby step today. And I know I say this all of the time, but the cool thing is, is that's actually how simple that it is. And that's actually what I live by is what did I do today? Maybe it's not necessarily like you didn't work out for a day or two. That doesn't maybe trip you up, but maybe you just kind of get bored. You can always change the different variables of your workouts. So for example, if I'm getting bored with running, I'll go for a beach jog and I'll be on soft sand and then I'll be on hard sand. And then I will do like a hiking run and it'll be like a lot of incline with hills and or I'll do like a distance run. So there's lots of different environments as far as like intensity level, incline, um, distance, all those different factors and you can always do that with your workouts. There will be some times where I'll literally go for a run and I won't have music and I know that's really weird. I know some people can't do that but for me it's like very meditative and I just can run and think and pray and watch the sunset and it's very, very, I don't know, it's so like calming and soothing to me. And it also helps me to be more aware of my surroundings. Like the other day when I went for uh, a longer run by the beach, I ran by this girl and she had like, I think she broke her leg or something. She had a cast on her leg, obviously. So maybe, maybe she fractured something. I don't know. It made me look at her and just think in my heart for her, like, I really hope that she can just embrace being in the season that she's in right now. I hope she doesn't feel pressure by others or even by herself to rush through this season and to be in, to be where she's at today and to not try to rush through it and rush past it. And I find like, that's a lot of the times what I think we all tend to do, you know? There really is so much peace to be found and there's so much rest to be discovered in just being in today. Like being fully immersed and submerged and being alive in today and not trying to rush through things. And wow, I don't need to feel unrealistic expectations to look a certain way or to hit a certain number on the scale or to wear a certain number of clothing size. and. We, we get that 
stress and unrealistic expectations and pressures off when we can just be in today. And I just, I think, I don't know, for me at least that's been just very healing to me and healing to my heart and my soul and my body. Like holistically, it's been very healing and helpful. I just hope that you can be exactly where you are right now and just find peace and contentment literally down deep in your soul. If you want to check out the Nike React Infinity Runs, I will leave in the description box a link for those as well. They are so cute and so comfortable and I've been training in them the entire time and I could not recommend them more. So I love you guys so much and I just really hope that this video helped you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just want to say thank you again to Nike for sponsoring this video.